Soul, and I'm back with a brand new video for you guys. Before we get into the video, I have a few announcements. This video is probably going to be uploaded April 7th, so that's Thursday. So Tuesday, April 5th, is my birthday. I turned 25. Along with that, you know, I'm dropping a song, so be sure to check that out. It, it'll be uploaded April 5th at 9 a.m., whatever time zone you are located in. So that'll be up, and also my ebook drops, uh, chant mantras for the young Christian. That should be uploaded April 5th at 8 a.m., whatever time zone you're in. So if you have not bought a printed copy or an ebook copy, make sure to go check that out on Amazon. Um, just type my name in or the book chant by Chad Mohan, boom, you'll find it. But on to the next thing. So. Before we get to that next thing, like, comment, subscribe, and now we can get into this video. So basically, man, uh, this video today is about being paralyzed with options or opportunities. Um, in this postmodern American society, we have we have free reign to, to reach the word quote unquote success, however we feel like it, you know, on as long as we're in legal bounds, right? So, you know, some people do this by working a nine to five job. Some people do this by having highly skilled trades. Some people do this by freelance work. Some people own businesses and, and where, where they automate their businesses and they're living somewhere in Thailand on a beach. Um, you know, it's, it's success is, is drawn in different ways in the society we live in, right? And although that is great, there's also new problems that, that got caused by that, right? And these are actually really good problems to have. I'm not complaining or anything like that, but these are really good uh, problems to have, um, being paralyzed with options. So what do I mean by that, right? Um, what, I, what is meant by that is that we, we have so many opportunities. We, have, we can do whatever we want and it, to, to reach wherever we wanna go. And it's like, sometimes that becomes overwhelming. Uh, for most people that I talk to, most people I know, that's pretty overwhelming, you know, like, because uh, it's like planning something out. It, it works so well in your head, but then when you think about it and then you get ready to do it, it's like, dang, this thing is really, really hard. Like, why can't I do this? And then people end up getting caught up in thinking about something so much where they end up just stop, like completely just stop doing whatever they wanted to do and they just give up on that thing because the thought of it is, is harder than the completion of it, you know? So um, that's what I wanted to speak into today about, man. And I just wanted to give everybody who's listening to this some encouragement, man. If, if you have four or five things going on, um, you know, uh, don't take on anything new, you know, uh, you know, seek out what you're most passionate about, man, find your passions. And, and if, if my, my advice is if you want to do more multiple things, make sure you can stack all these talents on above each other. Right? So, uh, what do I mean by that? Right? So if you're a rapper, like, like I was, um, take that, take that ability and do something else with it. You know, like take off time for music and write a book like how I did, right? Um, you know, communication, like, and then the, the key with a book is, right? Like for me, I wrote a book and I'm communicating with other people, but that's why I stacked that talent of communication again with my podcast, Sinners Only Podcast. So if you are listening to this and not subscribed to the Sinners Only Podcast, check that out. We're live Sunday, Sunday night, 9 p.m. Eastern, every single Sunday. Uh, we, we just got back with season two, so tap in with season two. But um, yeah, no, I, I, I couple all these these skills together of communication and writing with like YouTube and video editing and my podcast and 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 it, it, I stack those things. So I use the skills I already have to do other things, right? But it's like, if you're doing five things from different, you know, weight walks of life, it get, it's hard because you have to like, kind of shift gears to do these things and that's difficult man um but if that's what hey, some people are built for that so if that's you man i, I offer you encouragement but just try not to take too much on your shoulder because burnout's a real thing you need to be aware that you can be you know you can get burnt out and like you have to take care of your mental health and all of that so yeah man um on that note yeah man if you're taking on five things you know 
do your thing, but you know, be aware that thinking about something else might might drive you over that point where you're, you're burnt out. Uh, and then if you want to do five things, you know, plan it out. The best way to, to avoid being paralyzed by opportunity and options is, is to write things down, plan things out, and, and you know, follow through with a plan. If, if you follow through your plan, nine times out of ten you won't get overwhelmed with the opportunity because you have you had a plan the whole time and that's the number one way to combat this issue is is planning things out and that that helps you counteract that overwhelming feeling um and if and honestly if you're if you're a person that that really just wants to do one thing like you want to be a writer you want to be a rapper you want to be a, a, a shopify entrepreneur I really, really encourage you to do that one thing. That one thing might be success, more successful than the person that does five to 10 different things. Because for the fact that success in itself is non-linear, right? Some people might, might have linear success. I'm not saying that can't happen, but what I am saying is most of the time, success is non-linear. Um, success can go up, down, it could be exponential. And, and usually what happens with success is that the more you do something, the more you learn the system of a thing, the better you are at it and the easier it gets down the road. So it's like, it's like you might put in five years on YouTube and after your fifth year, you're definitely pulling in thousands and thousands of views a lot more simple than the first year you did it. Because the first year you didn't know how to edit, the first year you didn't know how to, you didn't know how to talk on the camera, you, you didn't know, you didn't have your system down. But the more you get to know a system, the better you are at a thing. So it's like, you know, you start off your career working entry level, you learn a little bit of that, you go to a mid-level position, then you become a senior level position. And it's like, you look back at the years and it's like, if you had to do the job you did 20 years ago, it's like, wow, that's so easy because success, that, that's how success works, right? Like the more you go up, it's like the last step was a lot, is a lot easier, right? And, and, and the system kind of automates itself, right? So, so it's like, if you do that one thing, for, for a long time and you start seeing success, stick with it. And then there's a point in time where it's like, it's not as hard as, as it, it was before. So then you could take on something else. Then you could develop another skill to pair with that, right? And then you can see that, you know, your success multiplies. So that person is actually in a better place than the person that's trying to do five things. And I know that sounds hypocritical because of, because like it's coming from me because I do a lot of these things. But what, but, but my case in this scenario is that I've been making music for like 10 plus years, you know? Um, it's just, it, it became second nature to me, you know? To mix a song takes me like 20 minutes, you know? To write a song takes me 10 minutes, you know? Like, so, so for me, it's like, I, I, I could, I could, double up on those skills you know i can i can do more things so you know once you get to a certain point with something it's no longer as hard as it was at the beginning for me to pull in five to ten thousand streams is a lot simpler than it was 10 years ago for me you know so it's like keep that in mind you know like so it's like one thing doing one thing for a really long time and mastering that thing is way better than trying to do five things at the beginning um and and if, if you haven't started anything and you're really overwhelmed, man, I'm encouraging you right now, if you're watching this video, do that one thing. Do that one thing. You know what I'm saying? Wh whatever it is, uh, you know, as long as you're not hurting somebody else, as long as it is legal, <laughs> uh, do that one thing. Uh, don't be scared. And even if you fail at it, man, you, you, you could exit off and try something else, you know? So yeah, man, don't get paralyzed with options. Uh, I, I promise you. I promise you plan something out do do that thing that you you've been trying to do and just stick to it you know success will come if it's the thing that that's meant for you you know so uh that's really all i wanted to talk about man thank you for tapping into this video once again go you know check the link in the description for my book chant mantras for the young christian um check out my my, my new song it should be down there in the description as well um and yeah follow me on instagram follow me on tiktok and y'all see y'all later man i appreciate y'all for tapping in and uh like comment subscribe